Yes, family, welcome to Liberia. And uh, hopefully so far everybody have enjoyed the experience because uh, every experience is unique. So now that we have gotten what we have to say out of the way, now we can uh, record a nice welcome energy. Oh, yeah, this is too bright for you, huh? It's too bright. This is our welcome party. Greetings, greetings, Wayne. Good to see you in the flesh. I know you. <laughs> so now that we've gotten through the, the hard part, now it's time to get enjoy the best moments of life. So, um, you know, we have uh, we have a beautiful couple there enjoying the bus. I'm jealous of both of them because I wish I was here two two days ago. <laughs> but nevertheless, family, we are gonna do it up. So yes, uh, anyone uh, have anything uh, wonderful and incredible and encouraging to share? As we look to this, enjoy a positive energy in Liberia. Uh, now that uh, you know we have broken the ice. You haven't seen any trip to happen. Oh, the airport arrival and departure, all together. I saw it's a bomb, man. <laughs> Oh, and I keep on forgetting this, like, <laughs> it's like 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. 4.15. <laughs> but that was very nice of them to, you know, accommodate us early. Or do they want us to wait till 12 o'clock to check in? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Is this a joke? If, if so, I'll just camp out somewhere and just wait. But I uh, guess, um, yeah. So who, fancy house is that over there? That looks beautiful. Restaurant, huh? oh, that's perfect, right by the airport. In case you wanna yes. get oh, yeah, there and chill. Yeah, we just have to the but I'm no. sure they're not gonna be open like 2:30 in the morning. No, yeah, the one that was. The one was and the other restaurant open. Because because of the late flights. Mm -hmm. All right. So family, yes, we are in Liberia, and my good brother Kala Genesis is on the other bus. Kala came through strong. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kala just it, it just looks so excited. I'm so happy for him. He looks at peace. Oh, yeah, so that's how we're all going to be looking in the next uh, next few hours. We're going to be looking this, you yeah. know, and you right... You guys can see that well. Yeah, because it's dark and we just, yeah. you know, we're, we're going to be actually, all a little tired. We're actually um, driving around uh, the Firestone Plantation. All right, so oh, can I see anything on the, yeah. the left? Yeah. No, we can't see anything. Which I think is now called Bridgestone. Right? This is rubber plantation? Yes. There you go. Bridgetown. Most of the time. So where is it at? It's uh, over there or just kind of? It's kinda, all around here. It's just all the around. entire area? Yeah. All right. And that's the explain the plantation situation to him so he's not getting confused with something else. Okay, this uh... Like when you say Firestone and uh, plantations and things are... But that's what it's called, plantation. Describe it to us. Because when you think, he's thinking about plantation, I keep working on his, his slaves right, here and things like that. Basically, getting yeah, basically. Oh, you say basically. Yeah. Plantations, coffee wow. plantations, cotton plantations. Yeah. You know, they got yeah, the Ella they Foundation they plantation. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, Firestone don't have a good reputation oh, in Liberia. Don't? No, they don't. In, in no. Liberia and in the world, they don't have a good reputation. I thought they were a good corporate company. I think, I think, yeah. Uh, actually, I think until probably a couple of years ago, um, the Firestone Plantation they used to make like. 
like two dollars a day. Oh, wow. And when you see them working, they don't work alone. They work with their family oh, because they have to have a certain amount of rubber that they um, they have yes. to turn in in order to get that two dollars. So it's a lot of child uh, labor. Yeah. You, will, you will find that out. Like, so any yeah, like so teenagers anytime, like children like him. Yeah. So anytime what? like. Especially during the Super Bowl, when Bridgestone can pay millions of dollars of a commercial, there's a group in um, America that can protest in regards to that. Uh, in regards to the Bridgestone Super Bowl commercials, every year they have money. They pay a certain amount of money that's actually more than what they pay their workers in one year. They pay they pay that amount on Super Bowl commercials. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a plantation. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. So, family, are uh, giving you a nice energy of uh, Liberia as we uh, head to Labasa <laughs> to Marshall. Yeah. And roads uh, don't seem that bad. Uh, we're making it through. It's construction all around the road. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're doing construction. So your you roads look fairly decent. Okay. I don't see no big potholes or anything in the middle, so that's good. Oh. So yes, family, you know, this is young Bomani Dakari. We got Bomani. Can I see your face? Oh, that's why you couldn't get this mask. Bomani, look up. Yes, sir. Welcome to the journey of a lifetime to Liberia. You really enjoy spring break? Yes, so family, I'm going to take you to the most incredible resort that you have ever seen, ever been on in your life. And some people may be, you know, have experience on some nice ones, but uh, you're gonna love it. Uh, tropical paradise awaits us. No, it is one of 